This is Leon Vanguard of Vanguard Smithing, and today I want to talk about copper. Now, what's interesting about copper is it work hardens very, very quickly. Work hardening means the more you hit it, the more you start working it, the more you keep working on it, the more the actual structure of the metal gets harder. And in this case, with only a few blows, you can go from having a very, very soft metal to having a very, very stiff and unmalleable metal. And this happens the most quickly with copper, at least with the metals that I work with. And I'll show you an example how right now. First of all, it's very important to understand that metal is based up all of small grain structures and flakes of crystals, essentially, in the metal. They're very small grains. And a basic grain structure looks like this. They're not circular exactly, but they're very circular-esque in shape. And when you heat up, when you start hitting the metal, especially with copper and over time aluminum, you get this. You get a very, very oval shaped structure. And while this is harder and it actually is much stiffer, if you try to bend this, it's more likely to break. So along with, with, now that it's like this, when you try to bend it, it'll, it'll fracture, it'll break. These are, these, are, these are not meant to be very, very easily moved. So when you have a structure like this, everything's very loose. It can bend, it's very malleable. But when you work hard in it over time, which can either be by rolling, hammering, any kind of actual um, heavy blows or any kind of very strenuous process, you can get oval grain structures. Now, if you're trying to bend a piece of aluminum or a piece of metal at home and it just breaks, that means it has lost all of its ductility and it doesn't want to bend. So in this case, with, with aluminum and copper, and in this day, copper, we're taking a structure like this, we're hammering it, getting this, and although we like hardness in our metal, if it's too hard and you want it to actually bend a little bit, if you try bending it, it's more likely to just keep stressing and breaking. So I'm going to show you how to first work harden your copper and then convert it back to a soft circular grain structure. First of all, here we have a piece of twisted, but softened again through heat, the heat, heating process, copper. Now... I'm going to show you by just grabbing both sides of this and bending it. How easily that just wants to bend back and forth all day long. I'm not putting almost any pressure at all. Now watch this. Let's turn this back out again. See if it hardened. You see it? You see right there how it's instead of flexing very easily, get that really tight bend. It's even pulling apart because before it was nice and flexible, but now you can see the twist is actually coming apart because it's too stiff. And if I were to keep bending it like this, I'd actually break this wire in half. Let's see if we can see any stress marks. So you see, I'll show you again. It's literally coming apart. Now, all you need to do to soften this again, hopefully I'm not actually stressing this too far. Is heat. So I'm gonna just torch this middle section right here. In the case of copper, you know you've heated enough when you have that color. Focus it real quick. That grayish color. I'm going to go ahead and quench it real quick. And now that spot we had the problem with earlier. It's bending very easily again. So it's all with the copper today. Copper can work hard very, very quickly. All you have to do to work hard is barely even work it that much. Just nice, solid hammer blows. So if you're working and stretching a lot of copper, you want to make sure you anneal it, meaning to heat it up and soften the metal again. And in the case of quenching it, quenching 
uh, the copper won't do anything at all. All it'll do is help us cool down quicker in order for us to get back to work better. Um, all you need to quench anything is just a bucket of water and dip it in. Uh, if it's a small piece of metal, it takes less than a few, maybe two seconds to quench all the heat out of it. If you're working on it and you're grinding it, it's too hot, dip it in the water, you're good to go again. But all you need to do to go from a very soft copper is a few blows, and all you have to do to bring it back to a nice soft temper, a nice soft malleable metal again, is to heat it up enough that you see the metal starting to change color and oxidize. So, hopefully that was helpful.